Hello, hello, I'm Stephanie Matthews, and you can find out more about what is going on at MagicalMothering.com. But for today, it is all about, are you ready to have a drama-free life? Now, I can say, in all honesty, that I, I used to seek out the drama. I used to watch the Kardashians, I used to watch the reality TV shows, and I actually searched out drama in my life. And guess what? My life was drama. Um, when my husband and I, we were first dating, you know, everything was like big and outrageous and emotional. And I would tear up when we'd, when we'd have these deep conversations because I couldn't quite figure out how to get out what I needed to say. You know what I'm saying? Where, where everything is, is this drama. And as we're going through life, so often we don't even know what the cause of it is. And this has been the biggest thing that I help my clients with, is for them to realize that the drama that they're going through in their lives on a daily, recurring, repetitive basis is actually something that they're creating. This is a big realization for a lot of people because they don't want to be the creators of their drama. They think that drama is following them. How many times have you talked to your girlfriends and you're like, they're like, I just don't understand. The drama just keeps happening. Yeah, and you look from the outside and you go, uh, no, I know exactly what is happening. And this is how I help my clients. I can look into their lives in less than a couple minutes and know exactly what they're doing that is creating the drama in their life. So here is a little bit of why. Why do we create drama? Well, a lot of times we're just not aware. We're not aware that we're repeating behaviors, we're putting into practice things that we actually are seeing around us or that we were taught growing up, right? We repeat the way that we were raised until we know a different way. So that's first. We just repeat and imitate the behaviors around us. And there is a bunch of drama. That is what is, you know, the news and TV shows. You don't want drama in your life? Stop watching it. Give yourself a drama-free existence just for a week. And you will see how much you are imitating drama that you are watching around you. Second, you want a drama-free life? Stop choosing drama. Okay, so this was something that actually my husband and I were just talking about. When I first met him, one of the first things he said is, I don't date girls who play games. And I went, okay, all right, I don't play games, right? Only within like a few weeks in, because he had made me aware of that statement, I realized how often I played games in my past relationships. Now we've been together nine years and I've seen even the games unravel that, you know, when you get married, you think you have to be a certain way. These are all games that we play, rules that we make up in our own minds of who we think we have to be when we become a wife, the games and the rules that we think we have to be when we become a mother, the things that we do when we're creating a business. We just play games and it's really because we're actually a little insecure of being found out or discovered. We become a wife or a mother and it's all guesswork. We're just trying to do our best, right? And yet within that, sometimes, sometimes, we're letting our inner child actually rule. And what I mean by that is, is oftentimes so much of us and our ego is fear. We're actually really scared. And so what do we do? We make up rules and we play these games and we, we try to pretend like we're something or somewhere and that we've got it all together, our lives are perfect, and if we just keep up the image of playing the game good enough, we suddenly start convincing those around us. But inside, we're doubting. Inside, we're knocking us down. And inside, our little voices are often saying things that are horrible to us such as, you're not good enough, I can't believe that you think everybody thinks, you know, I can't believe that you think that you're fooling anybody. In, in these little thoughts, then we start having doubts, and then we start feeling like we're not worthy. And this is a huge cycle. So what do we do? 
we up it. And maybe we get louder. We have to prove that we're right. Maybe our emotions get out of control. These are all aspects of the drama. And so if your life is one drama after another, if feeling like you get through one thing, more drama happens, I know exactly the cause for it. If you're ready to stop the drama and you really would like to manifest this life that you know is out there, if you're ready for life to stop being this spin wheel of, you know, okay, things are good. Oh, nope, we're back on the crazy train. Okay, things are good. No, nope, back on the crazy train. If you are ready to get off of the crazy train, it's time to stop the drama. But the first thing you gotta do is be ready. Be ready to see what is possible. Is it possible for you to end the drama? Because really, if you don't want to end the drama, and this is like, you're like, yeah, this is life. Life is dramatic. Life is crazy. There's always something going on or there's always some sort of mishap. A lot of people don't realize that financial upheavals or re being really stressed over money or your career or what you're going to do next week or your life's purpose, having a stress that you're always kind of struggling over and, and never feeling content is a perfect form of recurring drama. So many people that have money issues, this is an acceptable form of drama in their lives. This is something that in uh, American society, you can have these money worries and it be acceptable, but it's just choosing drama. And when we're choosing drama, guess what? We're not enjoying or being present to the gift of life. And guess what? Over time, the drama creates anxiety. It creates depression. It creates physical ailments such as sickness. It creates lives that are not actually content to live in. And so often, this is where people live 99% of the time. And then they wonder why life is so hard. This is where it's time to create a shift. When we shift from a drama filled worry, anxiety, depression, the ups, the downs, the chaos, crazy train, when we're living in that space, this is a space that actually sucks the joy out of life. And this is the space that 99% of my clients live in all the time before they start working with me. And I can say, even with this group that just started six weeks ago, I would say more often than not, the women are actually stepping off of the crazy train more often than not after just six weeks. They're actually being present. And when they're not present, they go, oh my gosh, I don't like the way this feels anymore. I want to step off the crazy train. And so this awareness of really creating, really creating space around what is going on, no longer seeking out the worry and the anxiety and the stress to actually feel safe in the circumstances that you're in. And I can say that it is possible to feel good in your circumstance. I don't care if you have money. I don't care if you don't have money. I don't care what your circumstance is in. I have worked with women who are got kicked, who are no longer living in their house with their husbands. They were pretty much thrown out of their house with their husband, you know, from their husband, had to find a place to live, have no income, and they are still doing the work. And they are still getting off the drama train. They are now feeling confident. They are not being ruled by their emotions. And she is actually stepping into who it is that she knows that she can be and creating a life for herself in six weeks. So I don't think your situation is as bad as that. And if it is, I can say that there is hope for you as well. So this is the point. So often I speak with so many women who say their life is drama, who say they don't want to be in the drama anymore and yet they continuously choose the same behaviors 
over and over again. And it's not that they're choosing or wanting to do it, they just don't have any new behaviors to replace them with. This is vital. You need new behaviors, which is where I come in. Because so much of the time, when I speak with women, it only takes one small shift at a time. It takes being aware of what it is, the actions that are going on, to really flip the entire situation. And I actually have, right now, 15 minute openings to actually talk one-on-one -on -one with me. And so if you wanna hop on the phone, I will find and pinpoint the exact thing that is making your life dramatic, and I will actually tell you how to change that. So if this is something that you are ready to stop, ready to end the drama, and actually have a loving relationship with your husband, stop having chaos in your home all day long, get stuff done, and create a life that actually feels on purpose without the drama, I would love to talk with you because this is really what it's about. If you're watching this, we need to talk. <laughs> Let's not keep perpetually living this drama-filled life because if that's the case, if you want to keep doing that, then go ahead and do that. But if you, saw, if you, you know, clicked on this, how to end the drama, there's something within you that doesn't want to. You want to live a life that is actually peaceful and calm and loving and feels fulfilling. Because guess what? Drama is draining. You know why you don't have any time, energy, sex? Because of the drama. You might be having some of those things, but you know, how, how much is your life feeling fulfilled? And this is where the drama is such a life sucker. So if you're distracting yourself with the drama because you don't want to deal with what is actually going on in your life, I can tell you that the faster you get support to actually look and heal and fix the things that are no longer working in your life, the faster you can get rid of the drama and have a really amazing, fantastical, fulfilling life that feels great rather than always feels like there's nothing left for you at the end of the day. So this is really about creating awareness around what it is, what actions are being taken that are creating the drama, and then learning a new behavior so that you can stop creating the drama and get some new results. So. I'm looking forward to having you sign up. You can go to MagicalMothering.com, sign up for a free 15-minute session with me, and actually stop the crazy train so that you can step off of it for good and live a life that actually feels and is, is in the space of you being that magical person that you know you are in a way that feels completely in alignment. You can step into your purpose and you can start living life feeling fulfilled and on fire rather than in drama. All right, well that was Tuesdays. Hopefully I will be speaking with you very soon. Peace and blessings to you. Have a beautifully blessed, magical day. All right, bye.